It could be an offline brute must, could also be offline puck, but if given between the two, I'd rather puck gets given the farm. Puck needs to sort of Brewmaster is not going to do that well in the late game, regardless of what you build on him. He's not going to be that fantastic. So if you just sort of hit that mid game, get the blink up and ready to go, he's definitely, he has his impact. Puck, on the other hand, really wants to keep being valuable into the late game. You want to have those hexes, the yules, hell, even if you can find a Dagon. Early Dagon with Elder Titan, actually. If they get double Dagons, the Dagon Puck is not that common, but it's still actually pretty good. And when you combo it with the no uh, magical armor that Elder Titan brings to the table, the burst from Puck is actually pretty strong. And if they end up with double Dagons, I've seen ETs, like particularly Ice Ice Ice, likes to rush the Dagon on ET if he can afford it, if he's not falling behind. It is actually really, really strong. For someone who doesn't have a great natural health pool like Death Prophet, that kind of burst damage is really scary, especially when she can't even really rely on that kind of instantaneous burst. She can't even really rely that much on the Yules to keep her out of trouble. Two and a half seconds is nice, but she comes down and then bang, just cops another nuke and she goes down. It is definitely a scary proposition to play against. Final ban here. The Seeker also should mention, yeah, the Venomance are being banned out by Art Style there as well as the final one. They will ban out the Enigma. Okay. Definitely would have been one hell of a pushing line up there. Got an okay wave clear at the moment. I'm wondering almost a Broodmother. I mean, if they're worried about that, a Brood would be really aggravating and could possibly create the space that they need to get the LC farm. I mean, LC is actually decent at solo safe line. You can even if you want to, depending on what they put mid. Like, LC is actually really strong mid as well. Like, she is actually a really strong one-on-one -on -one hero in the mid lane. And it's quite plausible that they have, they just basically throw LC up against the Puck. Puck, the cast time on, um, the press the attack is actually pretty long, so it's actually quite possible to pump the fake and get the phase shift out and then hit him really hard with it. Neither Brew or Puck. LC can fight both in the mid lane, which would leave them to put Death Prophet in the safe lane, which is much harder to get at and gank. But Necrophos, the final pickup. So, no, it will be offlane LC most likely. Nec whether or not they go offensive trial in, though, I think that's actually plausible. Fissure blocks are definitely an issue for Terrorblade to have to deal with. Jakira obviously has the Ith Pass to set up the fissure blocks you want to. And LC, again, you have three heroes crammed in trying to defend their carry. That. Overwhelming odds, that hurts, that really, really stings. So I think it's quite possible they could be taking this offensive try and then say Necrophos take the solo safe lane, and that also gives him much needed levels as well. And going up against an offlane Brewmaster, and that should be pretty easy for him. He shouldn't have many issues with that. Unless he, like, uh, makes some misplays and eats too many crits from the Brew. Like, Brew literally just runs at him and thunderclaps and crits a few times. That could be a problem. But given a few levels, I think Necrophos should be able to handle the Brewmaster fairly easily. Especially if he keeps Sadism working as well. An ancient average in the far. Oh, ouch. Okay. Well, there you go. pick. That's... So Necrophos, this makes him a lot squishy as well. And that's unfortunate because they've got two really, really, or, you know, they've got one really awesome heal. That's press the attack. That is actually amazing. The fact that it debuffs as well is nuts. Necrophos also is just annoying to have to play against, but that makes him super, super squishy. Now, secret having Nips can stall this game out, and it's going to be okay because Secret are pretty a single core lineup here. Unless they get some stupid amount of farm on ET. I have seen carry Elder Titan. It's hilarious. Uh, I've seen some of the Southeast Asian teams do it, actually. Or was it a Chinese? It was for the Synergy League I was casting, and I saw it happen and actually won. It beat a Morphling. A stacked Morphling, believe it or not. It is hilarious. He can do a lot of damage, but considering he's probably playing a support role this match, doubt it will happen. But yeah, it's a single core lineup. And when you're playing against Reaper's Scythe, that is very hard to play against. Agadim Scythe, you lose your carry, he's done, no buybacks, and suddenly, and this is, it's compounded by the fact that Secret have picked a lineup that's scattered, that fall off in the late game. Puck struggles going into the late game, he really relies hard on item progression in utility to be useful, and to be useful as a utility, you've got to have a strong core to be backing up. And if you cause Scythe doubt, well, you have an issue. And then, of course, the Brewmaster as well. Again, his Panda panda Split is not that good in the late game. It falls off after about the 35-minute mark, becomes very lackluster. So that bothers you. Whereas the Legion Commander, obviously, the longer the game goes, the more duels you get, theoretically. Legion Commander becomes unstoppable at some point. Or alternatively, feeds so many duel kills that your opponent becomes unstoppable, so give and take. But, yes... I am worried for Secret. They will need to execute. They will need to worry about that Scythe at all times once the Scepter comes up. Even without the Scepter, like, you get Scythed out. That's a lot of farm time you lose. Anyway, so we'll call up the team lineups here while we wait for them to move out. 
Playing for Secret on the Radiant side, we've got Puppy on the Ancient Apparition, Big Daddy No Tail on the Elder Titans, S4 running the Brewmaster, Kuroko on the Terror Blade, and Misery standing in for the Puck. For the Dire Team, playing for Nips, we've got Art Style and Jakira, Moon playing Necrovos, Immune on Death Prophet, Travka, I'm pretty sure that's probably not pronounced like that, I'll ask... I'll ask somebody else about that one later, and playing the Lich Commander, and Vlad playing the Earthshaker. One thing I've learned about the CIS, the names from the CIS is every time I pronounce them, I pronounce them wrong. That's about the only constant that I find. Now, S4. Okay, wait, 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 what? Wait a minute. What's going on here? Okay, we're going to have the solo offlane. No, wait a minute. No, they've got dual lanes. It's going to be dual lanes here. Or is it going to be offensive trouble? Where is S4 going? I think they're still figuring out their lanes. They're deciding what they want to do with it. I think they're probably trying to dodge. They're expecting an offensive trial, which, yeah, fair enough. We called that out earlier. A possible offensive trial, and they're trying to figure out whether or not they need to dodge with Kurokai here. Which is possible. It doesn't actually look like they're going for an offensive They've got art style here. Necrofoss taking the solo set. I think, yeah, they might actually send Vlad Bottom in a moment. He's just going to contest for the rune. Gonna, oh, no, nope, decides not to go for it. There we go. We'll manage to pick up the bounty rune and then walk away. A bit of cheek there for Misery to deal with. So now it looks like they will be moving Terra Blade to the bottom lane. And they will have the Puck solo off lane. And this actually makes more sense, I think. They figured out that Moon will be going top with the Necrophos, and Puck is going to do better against the Necrophos without a doubt. Still an interesting match. Like, it's still no clear-cut winner there, I feel. It's still fairly even. Puck has the better harass range, but then again, Necrophos has way better sustain. And, of course, the Aura. The Heartstopper, there we go, levels it up straight away. Heartstopper aura, aura, always awkward to play against. Now, it looks like, okay, they're not actually going to offensive try, and they will just dual-land it here. Heartstopper is just going to harass and just try and make it difficult for Kurogo to farm, slow him down. And meanwhile, Vlad is going to stack, and I like this idea. Like, you can either have Death Prophet come and wave them down, or alternative, I think they will just use Death Prophet. She's a lot closer. If they were going to try and help that, he'd stack something closer on this side. Because with two heroes, it's pretty hard for Puck to steal it, and Puck doesn't have the burst to clean it up either. So they're just going to babysit S4 now in trouble. The wave connects there, along with the Fissure. It goes to the Thunderclap to slow them both down. The Courier trapped there. Can't get the bottle out. One more way. Oh, it's only level one, though. Can I get him? 60 health. They need more auto attacks. He should be able to get the bottle in time. I think he's going to be okay. ET going to step in here, and they will just manage to get S4 away. Wave comes in. That nerf level, though. Going to keep him alive there. Nerf level one. Oh man, he would have been dead if it was the old wave. Meanwhile though, they're going to have uh, uh, Art Style walking into trouble here. He's in a lot of trouble with Thunderclap. Going to have big, big Daddy going for the body blocks here. Art Style, the staple gun, comes to work the briefcase killer. No tail, there we go. Even pops the salve as well. Wasted salve and a first blood for no tail. Secret off to a good start here, although they do find S4 out of lane for a little while there and burns a lot of his bottle charges. This is going to slow him down a fair bit actually. Or maybe not actually, because no, he's got a two minute rune. He's in luck. This is some free farm time for Immune, though, so he should have his bottle out in just a moment. But awkward that Art Style had to die there. Probably did not have to die, it's just he, yeah, kind of walked into four heroes. And Vlad will find himself... Ooh, visibility, never mind, though. They will spot that out, though. Radiant. No, it's there. Misery, actually not too worried, because he can just jaunt over the top of it if necessary. mid lane. Unfortunately, like, they may get the kill, but it didn't go to S4, and this has cost him a lot of time, as we can see. He's sitting on 5 and 1 versus 11 and 5, and Mune has had a lot of free farm there, so that is definitely slowed him down a bit. But you see the experience discrepancy as well. Mune is almost level 4. Bruno's not on the plus side, though. Didn't die, so that's going to help him out a little bit. It would have been worse, but still not a great result for them there. For their mid lane, anyway. Great result for Notel, as of Vlad. Oh, no, never mind. He's going to change his mind. He's only got level 1 Fissure, and Misery is healing up, and decides it's not worth spamming the mana there. S4, good dodge there, managing to avoid the Crypt Swarms to level 2 now. He's catching up a bit, but as you can see, the harass there is definitely quite strong. You see a wraparound gank here on the bottom line. Big Daddy gonna come in, throw? No, don't. Oh, change the mind, okay. Thinks about it, casts and then cancels. I think he decides, you know what, we're not going to get this kill. No need to waste my mana on a level 1 spirit. Misery definitely struggling a bit here. See if he goes for an early bottle. I mean, it's also plausible. No, no, no bottle in the crew. I thought I might be shuttling something back there. He might just opt to get boots first, though. 
See where Earthshaker goes with his. Meanwhile, we see another wraparound gank here. No tells thinking about it. They see Puppy. They're pinging him out. I think they know he's there. We're going to see a stomp come out. They're going to try and pick up Art Style again. Do we have a reflection? Yes, we do. I don't think Art Style's getting out of here. The briefcase killer is back. Elder of Titan just going to beat him down there. As it looks like Legion Commander is going to think twice about chasing No Tail there. Oh, uh, Puck still sitting on his gold, deciding not to go for anything just yet. Death Prophet finds up the Bounty Rune, and they're just going to camp this Haster in here for the... Ooh, this could result in a kill here. Level 3 Thunderclap. That could be a pretty easy kill on a Legion Commander. She's only level 3. No, they're just going to... Oh, wait a minute, this is a wraparound. They will go for this kill. They're going to put the pressure on, try and drive LC back. And she's pretty low on mana as well. It's just going to stack the damage on here. And they throw out the damage, they're trying to drive it back, she throws it, and here comes the haste, the thunderclap as well, the crit, first hits, always procking there, second crit as well, pops herself, cancelled by a crit, that's an easy kill, now Jakira trying to get away, gonna walk straight to another thunderclap, no, three seconds on the cooldown, reflection comes out, Kurokai getting very aggressive here, thunderclap comes out, an art style, secret with the rotations, they pick up some more kills, and Kurokai giving him some free room in this lane here, as now Immune actually comes in to try and clean up in return, but doesn't find anything as he is just chased off. S4 actually even going to beat him back to the lane now. S4 actually catching up nicely. He's only 5 CS considering he's further behind that. Oh, there we go. More, more Crypt Swarms. Death Prophet now building her phase boots. I'm probably going to... I mean, I haven't really seen Death Prophet deviate from the phase boots first. You know, Yules, every now and then I see drums when it's a really rough game, but it's usually Yules, phase boots Yules. I almost never see any kind of deviation from that. See, currently, well, actually, you know what? For five minutes of 2,000 goal lead, that's actually pretty damn big. But, as we said, going into the late game, if this goes late, things get awkward for Secret. Some of their carries, or start, some of their cores start falling off pretty sharply, and their one guy who is absolutely bananas in the late game is, well, at risk. Let's put it that way. All Moon's got to do is land that scythe, and he's in trouble. Death Prophet finds a DD rune. Might go for a kill here in mid. They've got the Earthshaker here. Still near level 1 Fissure. Throwing the counter to make sure they're not visible. They can stand around there while visible. A lot of wasted time. We'll just suss that out. Now, let's see, has gone for the value point there a moment of courage. That's mostly just for trading hits and auto attacks. It's just the extra harass. If you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one person, uh oh, S4 now in trouble. Fish are gonna come out, gonna catch him out though. Oh, immune taking a lot of damage from the tower. In comes the split. Rocks are chucked. Unfortunately, the five panda caught on the wrong side. Can he get in here with a crit? I'm not sure. Toss him up the air. Yes, they should be able to manage this. Gonna run out of time though. Throws another rock. This should be a kill. Yes, it will. Five panda gets stuck in there with the immolation. Dual breath on Puppy. Puppy now. No, they don't have the nuke damage. I think he... Oh, no. They're just going to chase it. Blocked up by a friendly creep. It's a traffic jam. And Puppy. The dots are not enough. He's more dots. Minus 50 DKP for that creep. <laughs> this just cost him a kill. That one creep. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. No, you're blocking the way, you moron. Oh, boy. That just cost him... Not a huge kill, but still irritating when you miss those kills. Stomp comes out. Oh, Thunderclap. Easy kill coming in on Vlad. Throws out the stomp. Maybe he's going for the turnaround. Fisher comes out. Should go for the punch as well. Goes for the punch on Big Daddy. Big Daddy, though, going to throw that briefcase in there. They will get the will get the return kill. And unfortunately, Jakira not able to bring down S4. But at the very least, a return kill coming in. Support for a support. And <laughs> three gold gain there. <laughs> For Earthshaker. Meanwhile, though, we should probably take a check on this top line. 33 and 16. Death Prophet appears... Not Death Prophet. Sorry, Necrophos appears to definitely be out muscling Misery's Puck. And to be fair, he's had a support up here half the time as well, so not to be unexpected. Meanwhile, mid though, S4, they will get a very nice pick off there. Puppy comes in. Puppy though might regret this. Art style though backing up. Should be able to get away. He's got out of the cold, uh, cold feet range. And now in comes the stomp. Can they get it in time? They will pick up Art style. No tell gonna walk in and punch him down. Now immune actually behind enemy lines. Might regret this. Do we have any ports coming in? No, no ports from Puck. Okay then. Puck's still dueling in the top lane. Meanwhile, tier one mid going down. This gets awkward now for Panda to try and farm this. So we see the gold coming out. Death Prophet actually having a decent early game here. But this is coming at the expense of a very fat looking Kura guy with his Terror Blade. So, you know, uh, I don't know how this is going to go down just yet. And a figure. Oh, wow. That's not even close. Misery goes to. Oh, Misery. What are you doing, buddy? 
That was a very hopeful coil. But <laughs> we're still way near that. Anyway. Whiffs the coil. Fissure also whiffed. Everything being whiffed. And now Immune's up here. Still 100 seconds on his ult though, so I won't be seeing any... Oh, you know what? That's actually really... That could just muscle that down. That is actually very, very low. Does he have a Sans? No, no Sans. He's going to try and trade for hits here. Misery now possibly in trouble. He's going to go for the phase shift, but I think he's going to go for the joint. In comes the crit. Oh, whiffs again. This top lane, nothing but whiffs. Now, Vlad wants to throw the fissure, but he's also trying not to trap him in the trees accidentally. So, decides not to take the risk. It is an offlane park. And he decides it's not worth accidentally killing his death prophet. No tell now in the mid lane. Gonna take some time to grab some CS while they're out now. We've got the Primal Split back up. I'm gonna bring up the net worth. Death Prophet is ahead. Good guy though, it looks like... I think he's just gonna go straight for... I think he's just gonna go straight for his Yash and then he'll decide whether what he wants to branch in. Whether or not he needs to go for that early Sanji Yash or if he really needs to brawl early. If he can just afford to go for the Manta. And then Scotty and usual stuff. No turn now, he's, far... he's, in... he's in free lane. The goal is free lane, I'm gonna farm that. Don't tell playing kind of greedy at the moment. Death Prophet. Uh-oh, bottom lane, this is where trouble might be. Macropire goes down. Artstyle though, just TP's out. Dream Call though to cancel. And Artstyle should be killed here. As now Cyclone being used to toss... Legion Commander up in here. They're going to dispel? No, they're just going to let it fall down. Uh-oh, they're going to try and get into walk into this. Yes, there comes the ice. So the Cold Blast. Can they go for the snap? I don't know. Rocket's chucked again. No, he should be able to get away from this. He's going to be able to heal up and down. Spidger comes in. Uh, Legion Commander, run! He heals up, but he gets silenced and then critted down there by the Brewmaster. S4 gets his kill. And now this tower is super low as well. We've got Vlad holding back here, but I don't think he's going to be able to get in a deny in here. Highly unlikely. Kurokai though with the double damage rune just cleans up that tower. So they do get a return kill on the towers here, but... Definitely the mid one, taken by DP, far more valuable. Okay, so I've got a bit of low on the action here at the moment. As Moon, uh-oh. Oh boy, Ice Blast gonna come in, comboed up there with the Astral Spirit. Uh, doing math, uh, I think he's dead. If he gets one punch, he's gone. Yeah, there we go, snaps. This is definitely... These long-range assassinations are going to cause issues to this Necrophos. Hasn't really been able to get anything done with himself just yet. He's got his Blink Dagger up, though. Ooh, I wonder if he's going to get aggressive with this. If they're just going to go now and took the pressure. I think they can. Just go on. Just get the Blink Scythe in and just keep killing Terabyte. If they can slow him down, it's really just going to open up room here for Death Prophet. Between Scythe and Duel, actually, they actually have a lot of chance to get some dual damage racked up on Legion Commander. That's actually a nice little combo that we probably didn't... I don't think I mentioned that earlier. But on the downside, LC's had a really hard lane. Like, right at the 12 minute mark, it's good if they've managed to pick up at least one duel by now. The duels are worth a lot. Like, consider this. You pay 450 gold for a 9 damage punch dagger. You gain 10 damage off a level 1 duel, and you don't have to waste an inventory slot for it. That is a huge, huge economic boost, essentially. Because, I mean, really, the fact that it's a superior magic disable, you'd take that as an ult straight up anyway. But even if it didn't add damage, a superior magic disable goes through BKB, can't, well, doesn't actually cancel passives anymore, but still, is actually still incredibly strong. Ice Blast going, uh-oh. Long Range Assassination. The artillery is being called on Art Style. I don't think he's going to survive this. Dream Call go. That's a very aggressive Dream Call. They will just snap him down, though. Top tower and TP top gets cancelled. I think that was Ursh. Yeah, Ursh decides not to go, which, fair enough, probably wouldn't have worked out there. As Yules has picked up death. On the plus side, though, with the Ice Blast down, Misery's going to walk into this, and they could quite easily pick up Misery here. Throws down the Sans. S4, though, he's got the split. This is going to be trouble for Immune. He's got the Yules, though, could toss himself up. It dodges a rock. Nicely played by him there. Yes, he got the Exit up. Needs to pop. No, it doesn't pop Exit. Tossed up in the air now by the Cyclone. Vlad is trying to get in to help. Here we go. Heal's going to come out there to keep Immune alive. He's being chased down by Pandas. Do they have another Chuck Rock? No, I think he's going to recombine before he gets a chance to cast again. We'll recombine. Ice Blast comes in. We'll manage to hit the LC, but that's about it. And they will keep the Death Prophet alive. I'm surprised she didn't pop Exit. She had backup coming, they could have turned that around with the exorcism, but decides it's not worth it, and then we'll eat an illusory orb to the face. As whoa, puppy, greedy. 
Man, that is some serious greed there. Which, to be fair, I mean, they kind of need to race Nip the late game. Because I actually feel like Nip have the advantage. Necrophos is actually doing okay. I mean, he could start building his scythe right now if he wanted to. I do agree with how he's skipping the mechanism. I don't feel like mechanism is... Oh, immune! Oh, damn. Sitting under a ward, and yeah, these ice blasts from Puppy. Puppy is just wrecking face right now. He's just like sitting back, farming the whole time, just get a kill. Sit back, farm some more, buy my, just get another kill, because I can. I'm just waiting for another ice blast. Never mind, Moon now in trouble, gets dream caught up. He's just gonna TP out, says, no, actually, out I go. Oh, no, the damage there, double damage, crit, and a thunderclap. He gets blown up. Ouch. Meanwhile, mid lane, Art Style being routed right now by Kuroko. No, Art Style's actually gonna manage to back off. They get a kill there on Puppy as well, but in the meantime, they lose the Legion Commander in the mid lane. And Vlad, still looking for his level 6. Could have been a different fight indeed if he managed to pick up that. It's like, oh, it... Kuroko's huge. That is fearsome. He's almost level 11. That level 2 ult's about to come up in a second. As Vlad walks into an Earth Splitter because. because he enjoys pain? Um, anyway. Gonna go back to base, I guess. No, he's gonna stack on his... No, he's not gonna stack, because he can't. He's already missed it. He's just gonna... Okay, no, he's... Dyer's top tower has I actually fallen. don't know what he's doing. He's gonna try and farm that, but he can't farm that on 200 health. That's not happening. I was about to say he's walking back in a, such a fashion to avoid the Ice Blast, which are actually being tossed to Death Prophet right now. But... Yeah, just... Just go and... Just go and heal. <laughs> just go and heal. This is not worth it. There's so much wasted time. Oh well, at least Art Style's gonna pick up the money. Maybe Art Style's commanding him to do that. I wanna laugh if he gets hit by an ice blast now. It's just gonna be awkward. Okay, so bring out the net worth though. 4k advantage now to Secret. It's largely due to the fact that how heavily Kuroko is found. They haven't put the pressure on him, I'm surprised. They picked up the early Blink Dagger on Necrophos, which is not so hot for a defensive spot because how they're just getting initiated on the Ice Blast will move to some art style though, I don't think he's getting out of this alive. They will come in there with a the Macro Pog. They're gonna go for a counter kill, perhaps X's will also pop. Meanwhile the duel comes in, Cyclone up, the Reaper Scythe gonna come in. There's your winner! First duel win there, Cyclone's left, right, and center. Mew now gonna back up, I think. Vlad gonna move in, he's got Echo Slam this time. Fisher comes out, it's on top of the Panda. Brewmaster though backing up. And Mew gonna walk into Misery, Misery going for the kill, maybe. Jumps away there, we'll pick up the kill on Death Prophet. A little bit overzealous. I hear the heals coming out once again, it's Puppy. Oh no, he's being chased, that's a lot of damage to him. Well, the slow down Vlad. Vlad throws out the Fissure. Puck, no, it doesn't matter though. He will manage to join over the top. And down goes the Earthshaker. Throws out the Fissure, but S4 got on the wrong side of it. And we'll bring him down. A triple kill for S4. Doing work. A blink in. From Misery there. Just helping clean up the creep wave. And now terribly. Kuroko. And all this time around, this is a 4 and 5 fight as well. Well, no, it's more 4 and 4 because, you know, I'd still kind of died really good. But there's Macro Pyroth. But yeah, Kuroko not participating in these fights, and quite rightly so, he's just pushing and just taking farmers. Are they gonna... No, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, are they gonna duel him? No. You don't duel him. <laughs> play with Metamorphosis up unless you want to give away damage. Especially not when your inventory consists of brown boots and a stout shield, in terms of defensive items. Now, if he has a Blade Mail, that's a different story. But yeah. Ninja Commander, not the best start. 31 CS at 17 minutes in. Uh, to be fair, it was a really rough lane. That's not an easy lane to take at all. Ice Blast. Wow, that's a good, solid guess there. Another ping out. They think there's a ward there now. Puppy's guess work has possibly just caused them to throw out a D ward there in a moment. We'll see. As No Tail continues to stack and stack and stack, and I'm pretty sure we'll see. Kurokai come and take that in a moment. Picked up her Yules. Oh, she had that in the previous fight as well. Seven point five K advantage and experience. Gold now also a similar story. Seven point five K as well. The moon skulking up in the top there. I really thought that they were, as soon as they got Blink in sight, I thought they would have just gone, let's get some dual damage. Meanwhile, uh oh Puck getting picked up there. Duel's gonna come out, but it's on the Yule's target, so he's not getting damage out. Oh, he comes the Ice Blast! That one's gonna be crippling, but they lose it. 
ET to the site there. Double kill though, the puppy as he gets a snap on both those heroes. He uses, oh no, Cyclone being used there from the Storm Panda. On Jakira, Jakira gonna throw up there, that doesn't work. It was a little bit... <laughs> it doesn't work on the panda! Oh man, they were trying to get him just as he recombined, but unfortunately messing up both of them. Panda now, gonna go back in, no dodges there, will get brought down though. Avoids the ice part, but it gets brought down. That is a fairly expensive victory though. For NIP. Now, only a 1200 swing, and it comes at the cost of two cores. On the plus side, Necrophos got involved and managed to help pick up some kills, so that's some much needed money for him, because they really need that scepter up on him when they can find it towards the late game. He's going for BKB first, I like this because he's definitely going to want it. It's going to stop the panda from jumping all over him. It will also help him deal with Puck and Ice Blast. He'll still get uh, the, the proc on him, but the initial blast shouldn't do any damage. So, man, Cyclones. Cyclones everywhere. All day long. Yules on Puck not being worked. Oh, boy. Kurokai's decided he wants his lunch, and here it is. It's like, what, four ancient stacks here from No-Tail. He's murdering his way through that, and he's going to be up to... Well, he's got a Manta style. He's going to be well on his way to his Scotty if he wants it. I assume that's where he's going. Like, he just needs to bulk up. There's a lot of magic damage as well as a lot of physical damage on the enemy team. So, for him in this case, raw health is probably just the best option for him. He's already going to get a load of armor out of his natural stat gain. And there we go. Yeah, he's picking up. Actually, you know what? BKB might even be the way to go. If he gets the BKB down, it basically is a window of time where he can't be scythed. Like, he can be scythed, but it's not going to do anything. Since he's not going to do the thing that he fears the most now. Puppy tossed up in the air there. Earth Tail, the Earth Splitter comes through. No Tail tries to back off there. To a double call comes down. It's on immune. This is trouble. Ice Blast. It'll get the Jakira. Art Style goes down. But the one they're after, Death Prophet, will manage to walk away. So it could have been worse there for Nip. But again, it's a f only four heroes. They're not fighting Terrorblade yet. This is definitely worrisome. Continues to farm there. He's up to 200. Holy shit. He's up to 211 CS at 21 minutes in. That is definitely frightening. Considering he's not a hero that flash farms particularly well. Like, he farms well. He can jungle the horses, cool things like that, but he does not flash farm. It's not like he just runs up and just triple raises a four stack of creeps or something. Meanwhile, Thunderclap on Moon. Moon Pulse being trouble. Can't blink away just yet. Ice Blast coming. Doesn't matter though. He's managed to pop up the BKB. But the physical damage coming out from the Flame Panda is actually significant. Tossing the ears up in the air. Gonna try and chase down Moon though. Should be okay for now. Panda's gonna recombine in about 10 seconds. Puck throws in the Illusion Orb. They've got the ET Spirit shepherding through the enemy lineups. And Immune now in trouble. He could get brought down here. The rock gets chucked. He's gonna be okay. He will use that dodge. Fissure comes in. Catching two. Duel gonna come through. No, not just yet. Heals himself up. Colfin in. Down goes LC. In comes the ET Spirit again. Immune trying to dodge past it manages to avoid it entirely at the moment meanwhile puck running away avoids the crypt swarm that's a messy disengagement there meanwhile the panda recombines clicks another hit will get away down to the bottom lane as oh boy <laughs> just solos roshan the whole fight he's just doing roshan art style gonna go down the et goes for the stomp no art style gets clear there kuriko might be able to shepherd him out though there's a stomp on him noon art style throws out the defensive ice part there but it doesn't matter and they will manage to get away. Oh, wait a minute. No tell. He can see him. The creeper doing some damage to Artstyle's one. He's going for the cutoff here. No tell. He wants to find this kill. He's greedy. He wants it. Can he find it? Artstyle, he's worried. He's got. Holy crap, he finds it. Running in circles here. He throws out the Yules there. Panda though. Blinks. Thunderclaps. They get the kill. Will it be at a cost though? Blink for duel. Here we go. Duel damage. Or maybe not. No, it doesn't matter. They throw down. The mischance there on LC doesn't matter though. But in the meantime, Kuroko's just like, oh god. Kuroko's just like, objectives, 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 objectives. I get my farm, I get my Roshan, I get my tier 2. I'm not fighting. None of this silly CIS stuff for me. Objective gaming, boys. That perfect German play. Must do everything perfectly. There's Moon hiding in the trees. <laughs> oh, Puppy! Puppy's figured out where he is. Doesn't matter though. We'll miss in the end there, but Puck's invisible. Now Moon and Oh, wait a minute. Oh, blinks out just in time! And they know where he is as well, but he will manage to avoid that. I thought he was... Oh no, he wouldn't have opened up with Dream Coil, because then he'd just... BKB TP, and that wouldn't work at all. Man, six cent there from... Six cents there from Moon, blinking out. Split second later, and he would have been dead. And Brewmaster picking up those auras. All for this Terrorblade. 
This terabyte is huge, but again, a couple of bad sites, and this game can be entirely different. I'm just gonna bring up the. There we go. Yeah, but we talk about that, and then we look at the 10,000 gold lead that Secret have, and we think, yeah, that's gonna be some Hail Mary sites for sure. Meanwhile, tier two, top, uh, tier two, top tower being pushed against the Dire. Should be able to clean this up pretty easily. No resistance is being mounted at the moment. For the moment, Nip are happy not to fight. They just want to counter push for themselves. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. I think they are actually going to have to defend though, because as we know, base races against Terrorblade rarely work well. Although 6.83 maybe so, because uh oh, come back to that though. Primal split the ice blast also connected on three there. Moon backing up can't heal himself at the moment. We had immune throws himself up the air. We'll TP out. I think they're just going to let LC go. No dream call. Immune stuck. He doesn't TP out in time, and he will get taken out. Oh, misery. Great play from him. Great dream call. Catch the treats. And uh, again, Kurok is like fighting for losers. I'm taking objectives. Say goodbye to your axe. Takes the range. Takes the tier 3. Echo Slam comes in. It does a fair bit of damage to Kurok, but it's not enough. He will manage to walk away, but they get a Rax in a tier 3. It is only the range one, though, so. Small victories when Nip can find them. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Alright, Kurokai's running a freaking raid boss at the moment. He's at 4.8k in the bank. 25 minutes in, he has a Vlad's... He has a Vlad's backing him up. On the Brewmaster. Which is amazing. Freaking amazing for his illusion based hero. He's got his Manta, he's got his Scout. Look at this, he's walking in the enemy face. Meanwhile, he's taking that Rax. Meanwhile, uh oh, Legion Commander heals. Can he wait? Nope, staple gun to the face. He will go down. And now S4 gonna pound on this tower. They've taken the tier 3 mid, most likely. Tier 2, <laughs> tier 3 top. And the Rax is gone. Kurokai's all over it. Oh, nope, never mind. They're going for kills. No objectives here. Kurokai's the only one who's playing objectives. Everybody else diving for kills. And down goes Jakira. Art style's dead again. But as we you know, we'll just talk about this for the moment. It looks like they are gonna chase, maybe finally chase off Kurokai. Oh, he's got Sunder up. He's probably just gonna play this one out. And no, oh, he gets stunned. Doesn't matter, he's got Aegis up. Just gonna stand there and keep hitting the tower. Still 50 seconds out to his metamorphosis, but yeah, he does not care at all. And Thunderclap. Oh, they're gonna lose Death Prop again. No, she heals herself. Brumas to best four. Run a run for his life there. So it looks like. Maybe we'll back off there. Puck going down. I heard Scythe go out. It's going to pick off the wrong target, though. It picks off an ET. In fact, it wasn't even going to be strong enough to kill Terrorblade. Now, Blink out there. He does not want to fight this T. No, he's going to turn around. Oh, crap. Throws out the Sunder there. Stun comes out on Kurokai. I don't think they can kill him, though. He's just a raid boss. It's point down. It's a panda split. Vlad now regretting decisions made. Trying to heal him up there with Moon. It's not going to be enough, though. I think he's going down. Yes, he is. As Kurokai again. Just, no, no, not fighting. Objectives. He's looking for a way to get into that base to finish that Rax. Look at him. Look, look, look at this. Just wants to go on farm. Wants to kill buildings. Does not want to get in there and fight. S4 though. Blinks up into the high ground. We'll get away from Art Style. Duel comes out on an illusion. Awkward. But yes. If you haven't read the 6.83 6 change, uh, change notes. Patch notes. One of the biggest nerfs coming out is illusions are basically getting a huge damage nerf against buildings. They'll deal the same damage against players, so obviously you walk into a fight against Terrorblade and his illusions are all up, he'll freaking murder you still, but he won't base race as insanely fast as he currently does. Also, anything that nerfs Naga Siren, I'm on board with it. Every caster is on board with it, trust me. There are some really weird changes, like Drow Ranger. She's already banned, like not consistently, but every now and then. You know, she's in a good place. She gets picked, she gets banned. She's in a pretty decent place. She really didn't need buffs, and yet she's getting them, so... Yeah. I don't know, some changes are weird, but I like to change the illusions. Because, to be honest, some of the, some of the Rat Dove illusions are pretty aggravating. And now Puck gonna jump in, Ice Blast, Yules there, used on the Death Prop, trying to keep her alive for a few seconds here. Oh, the nuke damage, though, Wang Rift kicks in! She didn't have the Ghost Scepter triggered, so that was that at least. Still a ton of damage though. And now Kurokai moving in again. He wants this building. Look at this. Heroes. I don't need to hit heroes. I need to hit buildings. Oh, never mind. He's decided he wants to hit Art Star. <laughs> Stop getting beaten up there. Nope. Kurokai's changed his mind. He's hitting hero now. Two down. Both supports. Dead Prophets on the sidelines still. She has no buyback. And I think this is going to be Megas in a second. Or possibly just tier fours. I mean, look at these illusions. This tier four. Yeah. And it's just illusions hitting it. It's not even Kurokai. Now he's hitting it. Holy crap, that tower is not there anymore. Yeah, I heard you had tier fours. 
They do have their glyph. I mean, they could pop it if they want to, but it's not going to do much. 11 seconds on Death Prophet. She can pop up, and I don't think she'll have a base in 11 seconds if they don't use this glyph. Yeah, they, there we go. Glyph pop. Meanwhile, some fountain diving being done there by S4. Decides he wants to get some kills. Can he find anything? Exes and pop. Cyclone from the panda used on the Death Prophet. Just tossing her up in the air. Move, gonna move in. Can he find a kill? No, he can't because the game is done. Secret. Basically wiped the floor there with nips. I mean, they put up a... I like the idea. I like the idea. They saw a... They saw a single core lineup. They saw, yeah, you know, we can deal with that. That doesn't, that doesn't scale back into the late game very well. We'll pick the Necrophos. Unfortunately, got kind of counterpicked for the...